Harry and Meghan are waging a narrative battle against the palace. Whether they're winning depends where you're reading. And in their adopted Californian hometown, Prince Harry's local bookshop is awaiting the arrival of his autobiography. When uh, I knew that it was coming out, I called my publishers up right away and said, put me on the list. <laughs> it's one of the books that I would order by the carton. I think a lot of people were more um, interested in how it affected the Queen before she passed on mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. You know, just kind of family dynamics mm -hmm. more than anything political, anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's a soap opera <laughs> and everybody wants to know what's going to happen in the next episode. <laughs> Montecito is an enclave of the super wealthy where Harry and Meghan's $15 million home is considered mid-range. As the TV and book deals mount up, neighbours are beginning to question the motive of their media offensive. The story is interesting because mm -hmm. it, it keeps evolving, yeah. right? And, and it's, it's he said, she said, they said, they said, you know, and I see it makes great television. Do you think most people are on Harry and Meghan's side? My observations is most women is on Meghan's side and most men are on, why are they doing this? People here, they get a $100 million contract from Netflix. They're making that money. It's not theirs. It's for their company. They have mm -hmm. to hire people. They have to do whatever. Yeah. So I'm sure it's partially due to a lifestyle that mm -hmm. they want. And what can they sell? People here were surprised when Harry and Meghan moved to this estate in Montecito in 2020. They say it gives them the privacy and the quiet life that they crave, which begs the question, why are they reigniting this war with the royal family, which will undeniably thrust them back into the spotlight? There is certainly more sympathy for their plight here than in the UK. Americans look at Prince Harry and they see a vulnerable young man who is being emotionally honest for perhaps the first time in his life, whereas the British tend to see a spoiled rich kid with every privilege that life can afford moaning about the gilded cage he found himself in. Whichever side you're on, the more he reveals about the inner trauma and trials of the institution he was once part of, Prince Harry, already on the other side of the world, grows further from his family. Martha Kellner, Sky News, Montecito.